beautiful South Carolina day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is drunken driving is one thing we can do without in South Carolina. We've got a great team. I see many members of our team that have come forward over the years or standing there and of course sitting here as well. I don't think you could get a better team. But there's some laws that we have to have in order to make life better. There's some things we have to study. We have to get the facts to understand exactly how to craft a bill, to craft a law to make things better. And sometimes it takes months, years, and hearings to figure it out. In this particular instance of drunken driving, the jury is in, the facts are in, and the more we examine it, the, the worse it gets. This is something that we can do in just weeks. Our members of the General Assembly who are here have stature influence. Those that are not here, I believe, understand the necessity of this. This Senate Bill 18, if you pass it, or the companion bill, or both, you pass it, I will sign it immediately. <laughs> Just one, one fact of many. From December the 16th, De excuse me, December 2016 through December 2017, how many ignition interlocks stopped attempts to drive while under the influence? Which, as you know, is over 1.15 now. This would take it down to 0 0.08. How many times did that ignition not turn on under the current law, which is a good law? That's 1,974 that we counted. Think of how many times, how many people drive under the influence. Sometimes they don't even know they're under the, not under, that they're under the influence. That's why we need this law. We need to be strong, we need to stand tall. This is a good bill, both of them, and we need it in South Carolina. This is the best place on earth to live, work, and raise a family. My family, I have one here. This is my wife, Peggy. Peggy, raise your hand. Thank you, Peggy. We have a great team. Now let's get it done and let's get it done soon. Thank you.